The Scenes tab in Visualize manages all of the lighting and background images in a project with environments, lights, and backplates. Environments create a globe around the model and account for all of the lighting and reflections in any project. The two options that create complete environments are HDRs and sunlights, and while only one environment can be active at any time, a project can have multiple environments and switch freely between them. Lights are isolated light sources that are used to add additional lighting effects to a project. They can be placed anywhere in the project and can be turned on and off if they aren't needed for a specific environment. Backplates are still images that are placed behind the model, but in front of the environment background. They're basically static backgrounds that allow you to dynamically place your models anywhere, such as a photo of an empty street. This lesson will go over how to add and manipulate an HDR environment, as well as how to add a backplate and line up the model with it. The globe shown here is the HDR environment. The environment acts as a light source for the model, which is suspended in its center. To change how that light hits the model, the globe can be rotated by holding Ctrl and Alt, then clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. This environment is the classic photo studio, and it's currently the only environment in the project. To add more, I can go to the Library tab, switch to the Cloud Library, and go to Environments. From here, I can drag and drop any environment into the project. For this lesson, I'll use the Route 66 and Tokyo Atrium environments. I'll zoom in on the model, and you can see how the environment not only lights the model, but also adds reflection to any reflective appearances. And notice that when I rotate the environment, you can see how the reflections from the environment move across the model's surface. If I rotate the camera to be on the floor in front of the model, however, notice that the model appears to be floating. This is a side effect of the model being suspended in the middle of the environment globe and can be fixed by going to the Tokyo Atrium background settings and selecting Flatten Floor. The bottom half of the globe has been converted into a flat surface and now matches the floor of the model. From the background settings, I can also adjust the brightness and size of the globe, as well as add floor reflection and shadow. The environment image can be hidden from the top, which fills the background with the background color selected. Note that the lighting, reflections, and shadows aren't hidden. The background is just replaced with a single color. Further down the Scenes tab are additional options for creating new scene elements. From here, a new HDR environment like the Tokyo Atrium, or a new sunlight, which is an environment set up to recreate realistic sun effects, can be added. A new light will add a single light source that can be placed in any environment, but many projects will only need the HDR environment to achieve photo quality results. Finally, new backplates can be added. Backplates are flat images that replace the background of the viewport, similar to how the background color is shown when the environment image is turned off. I'll add a Route 66 backplate and change to the Route 66 environment. Since the reflections on the model come from the HDR environment, selecting an environment that matches the backplate will give the most photorealistic results. Backplates cannot be rotated, so to align the model with the backplate, I'll instead change the camera's position. To help with this, I'll switch the ray tracing to preview. And in the Route 66 environment settings, I'll select Show Grid. A grid now appears on the floor of the environment to line up the model with the backplate. The ability to bring in any image as a backplate means there are no limits to where to place the model. Just make sure to account for any reflections from the environment before rendering.